Welcome back to Sporns Pro. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to grow Foliota adiposa, the chestnut mushroom. The first step is to create your own sterilized grain spawn. For the purpose of this video, I'm making one three pound bag, so I used about five cups of rye grain. You will have to rinse the grain and then soak it overnight. After the grains have soaked overnight, they are dumped into a pot of boiling water and stirred for about 20 minutes. The heat should be turned off and the grain should be stirred frequently to prevent overcooking. Once the grains are plump but not burst open, they are drained and laid out on a flat surface to air dry for 20 minutes. At this point, the grain spawn needs to be sterilized for two and a half hours at 15 PSI. After the sterilization cycle, you can use an impulse sealer to seal the top of the bag. Red RTV silicone is used as a quick injection port and tape is laid over top of it to secure it to the bag. The next step is to inoculate your sterilized grain spawn with chestnut liquid culture. You can find these syringes on my website sporensprout.com. Make sure your work area is completely clean and wiped down with isopropyl alcohol. The grain spawn is now incubated at 75 to 80 degrees for two weeks. Once your grain spawn is nearing full colonization, the next step will be to make your sterilized substrate. Mix together five cups of hardwood fuel pellets, one cup of wheat bran, and five and a half cups of hot water. Add the substrate to a filter patch bag and pressure cook at 15 psi for two and a half hours. Next step is to inoculate your substrate with the colonized grain spawn. For this part,
part you definitely need to be inside of a still air box or in front of a laminar flow hood. Once the grain spawn has been mixed in with the substrate, the tops of the bags are sealed. The next step is to incubate at 75 to 80 degrees for about 3 weeks. Now that the blocks are fully colonized, it's time to initiate fruiting. Use a pair of clean scissors or a knife to slice into the side of the fruiting block. I have found it best to slice directly into the substrate. The fruiting blocks are placed inside of a fruiting chamber with 90% humidity and fresh air exchange for 30 days. I decided to cut the top off of one of the fruiting blocks to show you the difference between top fruiting and side fruiting. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.